Hello my students, uh, I welcome you back to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Mr. Chika welcoming you all to today's session which is for Math Revision for Grade 9 Elite. In today's video we are covering part 1 of the session and we are focusing on learning objective 5. This video is going to be very important for all of you who are preparing for your term 3 exam. So let's get started with the video and before we do that a gentle reminder to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So let's see what questions are we covering today. So in today's session, we are focusing on learning objective 5 and the learning objective is to solve linear equations. We are going to be solving these four questions, question 1 to 4 on graphing linear equations. These are taken from your math book on page 500. So the concept that I will be using here to graph each of them, all these four questions, is the concept of intercepts. So let me just revise this concept for you. So there are two types of intercepts that you can find for a given graph. One is the x-intercept, another is the y-intercept. So remember x-intercept is the point on the graph where it touches the x-axis. So at that point remember y is going to be 0 and y-intercept is that point on the graph of the equation where it touches the y-axis. So x is going to be 0. So what we are going to do for the graph question for each of these 1 to 4 questions, for each equation we will make the table of values. And in the table of values I am going to consider two points which are the intercepts. So one time I am going to put x equal to 0 and get the y-intercept. Another time I am going to put y is 0 and get the x-intercept. So once we get these two points, we are going to plot these points on the graph and then connect the two dots or the two points with a straight line. Since all of these graphs are the graphs of linear equation, we are going to get straight line graph. So even before we draw, we know these graphs are going to be straight line. And in case you are wondering or you have forgotten what is a linear equation, I will remind the two equations for you. One is the slope intercept form of a linear equation that is y equal to mx plus b. So this is one form. So if you see carefully, question 2 is already in the slope intercept form. Or the other form is the general equation of a straight line which is ax plus by equal to c. So if you look at the other questions like question 1, question 3 and question 4, they are in the general equation form. So once you have an equation given in any one of this form, you know it's going to be a straight line graph as these are going to be linear equations. So let's now see how we solve these questions using these concepts of intercepts and linear equations. Let's make the table of values for each of the equation. We begin with question 1. So I'm writing here first the table of values. So we make the same table. We are going to take the two points which are the x and the y intercepts. So this is one table. So first I take x as 0. So when I take x as 0 in this equation, let's mark it equation 1 x plus 2y equal to 4. This is the equation. If x is 0, then we are left with 2y equal to 4. That means the value of y, if we solve, is going to be 2. So the point is 0, 2. This is the first point, which gives you the y-intercept. That is x is 0. Now you put y as 0 in this equation. That means x is going to be 4 because this 2y becomes 0. So the point is going to be 4, 0. So we have got the two points 0, 2 and 4, 0. We are going to now plot these two points on the graph and then join them with a straight line to get our answer. So I am just doing a rough graph here. 
So if I take equal divisions, this point is going to be 4 comma 0. And if I take equal divisions on the y-axis, this is your y-axis, this is your x-axis. So 0 comma 2 is going to be here. So these are the two points we have got. Now these two points, the first and the second, are your respective x and y intercepts. And you have to join them with a straight line. I am doing it without the ruler so it will not look very straight but then when you do in your ministry exam make sure you carry a ruler with you and you make a straight line graph so this is how the graph will look like similarly we can do the table of values for question 2 let's do it so I will make the same table x and y first we take x0 then we take y0 so let's calculate the intercepts Okay, so when x is 0, this minus x is colors, y is 6, that means the point is 0, 6. When y is 0, this becomes 0, so x is going to be 6 again. So the two points are 0, 6 and 6, 0. Again, you can go to your x and y axis, plot these two points, join them with a straight line and you will get the graph. So I'm doing a rough graph here again as I have less space. And then I will show you in the next slide the final graph. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is one point. We take it x equals 6, y equals 0. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the next point. x is 0, y is 6. Now we connect the two points using a straight line graph and then extend in both directions. So this is how your graph of y equal to minus x plus 6 is going to look like. Now I will want you to try question 3 and 4 yourself and let's check your answers. So this is how the correct answers are going to look like. Please check your graphs. So first you draw the intercepts, join them with the line. Similarly, you draw the intercepts, join them with the line. Now some of you might be thinking why this point has been taken and not this. So I would remind you, even if you would have taken this point as we took the x and y intercepts in the last slide, and then join them it would be the same straight line so this is also correct and that's also correct both are correct answers and will give you the same equation for question 3 and question 4 these are the x and y intercepts and the correct graphs for the question so that completes our learning objective 5 on solving linear equations and doing their graph that we come to the end of this video. I hope you understood how you can draw the graphs of linear equation using the table of values and x and y intercept. If you liked the video and found it useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more math revision video. Until then, this is Ms. Ruchika signing off from today's session. See you in my next video. Bye students.